Capricorn, welcome back to Shay C Tarot. If you've been with me before, and for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. This is your general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. There's mega Capricorns out there, so it's not going to necessarily resonate for everybody. I have already shuffled your deck. I've been meditating on them. And for those of you brand new, I always burn sage for your reading, and I always have the healing stones around your reading to keep everything as positive as possible. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the Cyril Marchetti deck. And I have also meditated on my Shacy Prison Universal Tarot deck. If you're interested in pre-purchase of those, that is down below in the description box. There will be a conclusion of this reading over on Vimeo, so we'll continue it over there. If this resonates for you, awesome. You definitely want to take advantage of that because if this is resonating for you, that may be all you need because this is um, it's a lot less expensive to get the readings on Vimeo. Okay, so if it's resonating for your story, then that's all you need. But if you'd like something that is more geared to your own personal energy, I will figure out your moon and your rising sign. You can go to shacy.com for that. But if you do do that, there is a 20% off discount coupon, excuse me, down below. So take advantage of that right now, okay? Anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. For Capricorn, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, this will bring up love, finance, career, um, any family members around you. It could be picking up their energy, anybody that's close to you. So, however it resonates for your situation, if I say it's a love interest, it may be a mother, a father, a father, a brother, sister, whatever. Things can happen six months down the road, three months down the road. Some things may be occurring presently or have already happened. We're all on different timelines in our path, okay? For Capricorn, please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to... Wow, did you see that? Whew, they came flying out, so I got to take them. Okay, Capricorn, right off the bat, you've got, you've got the Four of Cups, okay? So there may be a loss of love in your life, or you're feeling unfulfilled at the moment, and you're concentrating on this one cup right there. So I feel this is definitely about loves because love be, loves love because it's emotions. Cups are emotions. Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer, you may be dealing with a water sign, but it doesn't have to be. This can be someone that you're um, you've left behind or you're thinking about leaving behind or you're just feeling unfulfilled at the moment, but there is someone on your mind, on your mind. You see this person here, female male, it doesn't matter. They're concentrating on that one cup right there. And that one cup is their focus so this could be you or it could be a love interest of yours looking at your cup and not concentrating on these other cups so to me this is like there's these other options here okay so either someone isn't looking at these other options they're just focused on the one even though they have other options it could be you it could be a love interest of yours okay maybe you have other options you're not interested in there's only one person you're interested in or vice versa so take it how it resonates for your situation that's what i'm seeing i feel like someone's feeling unfulfilled by the options currently in front of them and they're focused on just one one option that they're interested in Here's the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You could be dealing with an air sign. Or this could be you cutting out all the other options because you're just not interested in them. You're not, you're not seeing anyone that fulfills your needs or um, that you desire. Okay. Here's the Page of Cups. This is love news. Okay. Page of Cups is a messenger against Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. This is about bringing in news of love. Some kind of emotion. Okay, so perhaps either you or someone close to you is going to bring you in a message of love. Perhaps it's the one cup that you're focused on. Maybe you're waiting for a message from one person, from one of those options that you really have your heart set on. Or, or this could be someone looking at you that way. The Queen of Swords is here is usually someone that is focused okay they're thinking logically they're not thinking emotionally this could be you maybe you're thinking logically not emotionally and focused on this one cup and you you know you for some reason you just are focused in on one person only and dropping the others okay cutting out all the other options or all the other challenges or perhaps you think your love interest has competition for you and you're feeling like the queen of swords where you want to get rid of their options or you want them to get rid of your options no you get rid of your options before you come to me that could be that could be the news of love you're giving somebody you need to get rid of the other options 
you know, before you come to me because I know you have these other options. Or they could be thinking this way about you or you're focusing in just on one option. Do you see how that plays out? And you're wanting to cut out the competition. The Queen of Swords, female or male, doesn't matter, is someone that is sort of like, you know, with their sword, like, get out of my way. Um, I'm going after what I want and I'm focused and I'm not emotionally attached at all. This is somebody who's detached emotionally, okay? So there could be some love news coming in towards you and you're just, you're wanting to cut out the competition. Don't come to me unless you cut out this these other options that you have or vice versa, right? They may think you have the other options. Either way, it's a messenger of love. Interesting. Let's see how this plays out. We are going to dissect the heck out of this in the Vimeo. I will clarify each one of these cards, but we're going to get a couple more. For Capricorn, please, let's go ahead, though, and clarify that Queen of Swords. What is this Queen of Swords about, please? Moon. Wow. Okay, so you could be involved with the Pisces, but the Moon card is also things that are hidden to you maybe right now. Um, not purposely necessarily. It could just mean that you're not aware of everything right now. You're in the dark about a few things or maybe things that you're wondering. This is illusion. I call this illusion and delusion. Um, sometimes, you know, our mind plays tricks on us. You know, at night we start thinking too much. We're laying awake. We start thinking too much. Maybe you think someone has other options, but they really don't. Maybe they think you have other options and you really don't. Maybe you're a distance from one, each, one another. Maybe you're waiting for some news from this person and you're wanting truth and honesty or somebody's coming towards you with truth, truth and honesty because you are hidden about a few things you're wanting to know what's going on and that's what i see for you let's pull, pull a couple of shacy prism now now there's 72 cards in the shacy prism that just wanted to jump out got to take it there's 72 cards in my deck okay they are available for pre-purchase they're very easy for you to navigate and do your own personal readings in your own personal time i always say have an all girls party or a barbecue friends family whatever the case may be and for fun, you can read each other's tarot cards, and it's it's um, it's easy for you to understand, okay? So I did it with simplicity in mind. Let's go ahead. What came up? Holiday, vacation, take a break. You may be thinking about taking a break and a holiday. Maybe you just kind of want to just chill out, you know? Maybe you've been sort of in your head a lot, um, and you just want to kind of retreat and relax. Nothing wrong with that. That helps us clear our head a lot. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. What else does Capricorn need to know, please, spirits? What else does Capricorn need to know? What else does Capricorn need to know? What else does Capricorn need to know? What else does Capricorn need to know, please? What else does Cap? Oh, wow! There you go. Okay. You need courage and strength right now, or Spirit is saying you have the courage and strength right now. Either way, this is, um, you're being guided by the universe. I feel that the universe is saying you do have the courage and the strength that perhaps you just need to retreat right now and take a bit of a break and a holiday in order to clear your head, okay? Because you may be confused about a few things in the dark, a few things, maybe it'll give you some sort of clarity that you need. We all need a break every now and again. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. I'm going to clarify all of this on Vimeo. We're going to use other decks. I have the traditional Rider weight. I have my Enchanted Tarot I've had for 28 years. So meet me over there if this resonated for you. Hit the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. This helps others to see my video and it's very important because here's why you were led to this video for a reason so if it helped guide you or give you any kind of insight whatsoever then you hitting the thumbs up helps this video to circulate that others may need to hear this message and um, it might really help them as well so that would I would really appreciate that and hit the subscribe button if you so wish and there's also the bell there if you want further notifications I'm going to clarify this uh, four of cups here we're going to clarify the page of cups we're going to clarify the queen of swords we definitely want to see what you know what's going on what may be hidden here that you don't know about that you're wanting to know about what's this love news about or this message coming in or going out queen of swords are you cutting someone out are they cutting you out let's go ahead and check that out 
I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. I thank you so much for being here. If you'd like to look at your other readings as well, there will be a playlist after this you can click on to go view some other videos that I've done. And for those of you this resonated with and you wish to do so, I will meet you over on Vimeo. The link will be down below in the description box as well as in the comment section. I'll pin it there. And don't forget to leave me comments because I love to read all of them. Thank you so much and namaste. Bye for now.